ApeCoin. So, um, <clears throat> I'm not the biggest fan of ApeCoin purely off of the basis of the way the tokens were distributed and just the sort of the fact that there is some significant holders within the sort of within the within the realm of holders like this there's some some guys that hold quite a significant amount of ApeCoin. Um, however, there's Definitely the potential for ApeCoin to do well in the next bull cycle. And I'll talk about what's probably going to be the catalyst for that. Before I get into it though, guys, if you're new, new here, and you don't know what the spreadsheet is. These are the first 26 coins that I did videos about on the channel. In the videos, I showed myself buying up these coins because I expected them to make me very good cash. And you can see uh, what these were worth when I recorded the videos. You can also see the highs all these coins hit. And that was about 16, 17 months for most of them. And this is what your profit would have been if you'd have put $100 into these coins when I released the videos. And then if you'd sold them, like I say, 16, 17 months on. And if you'd done that for every coin, uh, your profit from 26 coins, $100 into each, would have been over $123,000, which is pretty good. Now, I sold these and I've been buying up new cryptos. The cryptos that I own, I share on my website, which is copymycrypto.com. So anytime I find a coin that I think is going to make me good cash, I buy it. And what that means is I'll jump onto the site, tell my members about the coin that I want to buy, uh, the profits I think it can have and the percentage of my cash I'm going to put in. That means they can copy along exactly. They're going to get in on the coin at the same price. When I sell it, they're also going to get out the same price, 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 price. So they make the exact same profit as me. Uh, and the added bonus there, the members don't have to do any work. The reason we have thousands of members is because a lot of the members don't know or want to know anything about crypto, but they want to make the profits and they do. And if you want to see the profits the members have made, you can see that on the site, uh, along with everything I've said in the past. And all of it's public record because it's all on the history of this YouTube channel. Uh, and if you haven't got your position set up for crypto, if you haven't got your buys done, uh, now is the time to get it sorted because in less than a year we're going to have new all-time highs for a lot of coins and if you haven't got the right coins you're not going to make the maximum profit and copy my crypto can help with that now apecoin so obviously apecoin launched uh, in 2022 uh, they did a token drop for anyone that was a board ape uh, yacht club nft holder a mutant ape yacht club nft holder um, and tokens were distributed to all those holders. So this is a governance token uh, for and utility token for the APE ecosystem. This is to empower and incentivize uh, the community building at the forefront of Web3. Um, so ApeCoin holders govern themselves via the ApeCoin DAO um, and vote on the ApeCoin DAO ecosystem fund and how it should be used. The Ape Foundation administers uh, proposals are agreed upon by ApeCoin holders. So the founders are um, Yuga Labs. It was in spot, the project's inspired by Yuga Labs uh, Board Ape Yacht Club project. ApeCoin was founded to be used with the growing Ape ecosystem. Um, and look, it's quite, it's an interesting idea. Certainly in terms of an airdrop, it was very successful in terms of making money for the people that already had bored apes or mutant apes um, and 62 percent of all ape coin uh, was allocated to the ecosystem fund and that will be used to support community driven initiatives um, so overall ApeCoin has 145,000 holders, which is a lot of holders, particularly for a coin that's market cap half a billion. So that's a lot of holders. That's pretty damn good, to be fair. The hold, the distribution of this, however, does mean there are a number of wallets that have many millions of dollars. Um, now, obviously, some of these are based on allocation fund. So 16% is within ApeCoin staking. That's people securing the network. You've got, obviously, Binance, OKX, they're going to have a ton. But you've got quite a lot of people that have half a percent. Now, even half a percent, you know, $6 million, that's a lot of money knocking around. And if we just keep going through, 
you'll see that there's a lot, a lot, a lot. You know, there's another 50 here that basically have about $6 million worth of ApeCoin. Um, and then again, you know, it starts slowing down after about the 113th person. But even then, still looking at an immense amount of uh, coins for a number of the holders here. Uh, and again, part of that, part of these will be for allocation for the ecosystem fund. But there is a risk here of like when this coin, if this coin pumps, which I do think logically it probably will, it's going to, people are going to potentially dump on this. Um, now, ApeCoin in terms of the website is pretty weak in terms of the proposals. The proposals are somewhat skewed, like in terms of the way the voting works. You know, you're not seeing, um, you're seeing quite overwhelming votes occurring. So build an ape chain. So therefore, 31 million were voted for building an ape chain, um, which I don't think is a bad idea at all, to be fair, that's a good idea. Uh, healthcare utility for holders of ape, you know, that's an interesting one. 3.4 million against, but like the, the, the votes almost always across the board are really one-sided. It does seem as though, that one's not bad to be fair, empowering ApeCoin sub-communities with fundraising on Twitter, 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 God, my brain today, Twitter. Um, so that was a bit better, but yeah, a lot of them are just real one-sided. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure the, it doesn't necessarily seem like the, the it seems like a number of people have a much greater voting power. Um, and I question the, the legitimacy of some of the votes. I do not, I'm not saying it's terrible or anything like that. Um, the treasury dashboard shows the, what the treasury are holding right now, cash flow for them, 761,000 uh, ape, which it works out at, you know, a little over a mil. And that's in the past 30 days. That's the outflow. So this is the number of, that reflects the total amount this community spent. Um, which is not a lot, like when you put it into context, the cost 30 days a million is not as much as you would think. The eight coin holders, uh, the treasury has 338 million eight. <coughs> and there are two treasury addresses. Oh, sorry, there are 82 treasury addresses. So all those ones that was showing that were 65 mil or so are treasury addresses. So actually, when we come to it, the last big one is three worth about $3.1 million. So if we get to that point on the overall uh, breakdown, then we can actually see where we're at. So there's still a lot of people. So even at that point, right? So there's still a lot of wallets that are holding multiple millions of dollars. I just think the distribution of this is not great. Now, that's the negative. And that's also from my perspective, right? The big, big positive with regards to ApeCoin is the celeb status of this. Not ApeCoin itself, but all the NFTs. You've got NFT holders across the board that are celebs. Uh, Eminem, I think, is one. I think, I think, I don't know if Jay-Z, no, I think Jay-Z's got a punk, hasn't he? But you've got Jimmy Fallon, you've got well-known celebrities that are holders of this, Seth uh, Green, um, who's also creating a show about NFTs with the main character being one of the board eight. So again, you've got that sort of celebrity status that's going to really draw people into board eight. And as a result, you know, we'll probably again see a surge in board eight yacht club or mutant eight yacht club uh, NFTs. And that will draw in huge users with regards to ApeCoin itself. Now, ApeCoin itself, there's not an ecosystem here. So my negative is, look, I don't see a real ecosystem. Personally, I'm not a fan of the, NF, the, the picture-based NFTs in general. Uh, there's a few that I don't mind, but generally, I'm not a huge fan. But the celeb status in and of itself will probably be enough to smash this up. And I do think $10 is, an, is a fair target. After it hits $10, which I do think it will hit, 
then you can look again and see where can this go. Because $10 puts it at a 3.7 billion market cap with your celeb influencers and everyone else, that seems very, very achievable. Then after that, we look and see, is it growing? Is they, are they developing anything of value? Are, they, are users interested? And maybe this is something that can hit a new all-time high, but as of right now, I'm hesitant to say that just off of the basis that I don't see great utility. I also see risks of dumps. Um, but it is an interesting one because there's such, you know, there was clamoring for those NFTs back in 2021. I think that, I think we'll see a resurgence in that. I think that's fairly inevitable. So the growth here is probably going to be very organic. Um, like I said, I'm just not a huge fan of the NFT bit, but yeah, I think the celebrity growth and all of that, I think it's going to be very organic. And I think we will, we will see ApeCoin hit $10. Then after that, it's a reevaluation. Can it hit something crazier like 50 or even 100? I don't think so. I don't think it's worthy of that. However, we saw what Kim Kardashian did to Ethereum Max, right? Celebs have influence and they can really move the market. Elon Musk does it all the time, Doge. So the level of, it, of celebrity engagement is going to be what drives ApeCoin more than anything. Um, I guess it's a, we'll see how, how engaged are they going to be once again? I think probably very, especially now Bitcoin is more mainstream than ever. Uh, but let's see. Tell me what you guys think about that in the comments down below. If you're um, an ApeCoin holder, what in particular are you hoping to see in this ecosystem? What do you think can come of this? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, guys, if you want to make the same profits to me in the next bull cycle, you can do. You just have to head over to copymycrypto.com and check out the site. Everything on the site is public record. Um, whether it's what the members have earned, what I've said in the past, it's all in the history of this channel. Copymycrypto.com is where I dive into the markets every day. I find coins that are winners and when I do, I'm going to buy them and I'll tell my members about the coin, the profits it can have and the percentage of my cash I'm going to put in and they can copy along exactly. Um, when I sell a coin, I let them know as well. Back in 2020, I did a, coin, uh, a course about a coin called Phantom uh, when it was worth half a cent. Uh, and I said this was the best investment of 2020. It went up nearly 700 times from when I found it. The people that took that course, many, many of them became millionaires. I still speak to them regularly. And when I find a coin like Phantom now, I don't create a course. I just tell my members about it. And if you want to find out about the next big coin, copymycrypto.com is where you want to go. And that's it from me, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.